kids. It's me, Mrs. McGillicuddy. I'm outside in the dark. Can you see me? Good, good. I snuck out here to wrap Hank's Christmas present. <laughs> what? Oh, you want to see it? Oh, it's a doozy. Look, I got him toothbrushes as a gift. I know, I know. He's gonna love it. You see, we have three bathrooms in our house, so I think it's only appropriate that Hank has a toothbrush for every bathroom so that he can brush his teeth any time of the day. I really need to get this wrapped though before he finds me. Although, I haven't seen him in a while. I have no idea what he's up to. Take a look up there. Do you see any stars? Today's story is about a special star that God placed in the sky just for Jesus' birth. And the Jewish people probably didn't even see this star. God placed the star there on the night Jesus was born for a different group of people. They were not Jewish, they were Persian. They studied the stars as part of their religion. Their charts and books told them that the emergence of this new star meant the king has been born. And these men thought that this king was important enough to travel across the land 800 miles to leave their homeland and go in search of this new king. Think of that. They left behind everything familiar to them. The neighborhood, their families, their culture to find a new king. They must have really believed he was important. Isn't it surprising that they traveled so far? And they brought gifts. Of course, you always bring gifts to a king. But even though the wise men from Persia knew he was an important king, I think they might have been surprised at what kind of king Jesus is. Most kings take their throne with power and might, but Jesus is a servant king. He came to the earth to save his people. Let's take a look at the nativity set. First, God told a girl, and then a boy, and then some shepherds, and now some people who lived 800 miles away who weren't even Jewish. And God told them with this new star in the sky. Boy, I'm glad God told them about Jesus. I'm not Jewish, Hank isn't. I'm Italian and Hank is Irish. If God did not include all peoples in his plan to save the world, then I might not know God. And that makes me sad. I love God. And Christmas. Oh, and Easter. Ooh, ooh. Did you hear that? What's that noise? Who's there? Oh, Hank, you scared the living daylights out of me. What are you doing? Sneaking up on me in the dark. Oh, Hank, you got me a gift. Look, I got you one. Let's open them up. Oh, hey, toothbrushes. I got them for you too. You know how I love to clean the grime off the grout. This is perfect. Boy, it got dark out here. Let's head in. Kids, I'll see you tomorrow. I gotta go to bed. Remember, it's the last night. Last day tomorrow. So I hope you've had a good Christmas in July. All right, Hank. Hank, why is it so dark? Whose idea was this to come out here? Hank, where are you? What, what are you doing wearing the, the thing on your mask on your face? We're in the yacht. Oh no, the candles. We gotta light the candles. Oh, gee.